Yeah, how's it going, guys? It's Richie, you know, Corn Caller here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. It is Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It is Friday, and I got some interesting news to share with you guys. I have this structure behind me. I'm sure a lot of people know about this specific gauntlet, but for those who don't know, this is the Midnight Sun Pagoda. The rumbling that we felt on Monday concerning my Blacksmith Fjord house, and this is what rose up. The Midnight Sun Pagoda is now available, and I have it in the castle tours. All you need to do is just be on my friends list, and then, you know, you'll basically have access to um, all of my gauntlets, because you do need to be friends with the owner in order to access any gauntlets or anything like that. But, yeah, I got the Midnight Sun Pagoda. Hopefully, everybody um, enjoys that for Friday and uh, everything like that, so hopefully everybody enjoys that. We also got some new pets I have that I'm offering for some lens. I think everybody's going to like some of these pets. These are some pretty cool pets. We got the Shaolin Monkey which comes with the Midnight Sun Pagoda uh, gauntlet. So, pretty cool pet. I would have to say this is probably one of my favorites. I mean, I've never really seen this pet before in a very long time. I don't think so. Like, I don't think I've seen, like, people have this pet around, but... Yeah, I got this pet from the bundle, and it, it's adorable. It, it is adorable, but I got more. I'm not done yet. That's just one of them over here. Scrolling over here. Where's my new pets? Oh, I think we just passed one. The Drama Llama. This comes from the Accursed Play Gauntlet, and this pet is... <laughs> This pet is funny. This pet has probably one of the funniest dances I've seen from the pets. Wait, just just watch this. Wait, watch this. Uh, uh, look at him. Look at him. Uh, yo, he's moonwalking. <laughs> the pet can moonwalk. Dude, that is adorable. <laughs> Dude, that is, that is literally adorable. That's like the best thing you can get, man. But, yeah, I have that pet, and I had that from the Accursed Play Gauntlet. I haven't really done much with it until now, but there you go. I'm offering, offering that as a as a lend. What else? Where's the other pet I have? Oh, there we go. I actually have two of these pets. So, I got the Loyal Terrier Pet, and this one that comes from the, um, whatchamacallit, the Unforgiven Dead Gauntlet. You can get it at a drop, or you can just open up a bunch of packs, but I also have this pet. And then I have the other version of that pet right here. This is the Trusty Terrier Pet, and so I also have this available. They're too cute. I, I love the dog pets in this game. It's super adorable. And then finally, but not least, the Golden Sun Pet. I got this from Mythical Rosie. Thank you for the lend. And yeah, this is another really, really cool pet. It is huge. Alright, th th this thing is awesome. It's great for the summer because, you know, it is getting hot out here. But that is a pretty cool pet. Thank you so much for the lend, Mythical Rosie. And that pretty much wraps it up for all the, uh, the pets and stuff like that. You can see all this on my uh, Twitter and stuff like that. Get the latest news and updates. Speaking of news, we're here about news, not about me. We're here to talk about the news. And we got some stuff that happened in the Crown Show. I think a lot of people will be interested. But the Keeper's um, Pack has turned into a Keeper's Spellment Pack. So now instead of you just getting the um, spells just straight out, um, you'll basically just get the spellments in general. So it will still have the stuff like jade gear and stuff like that. But now it comes with some spellments. So you got the Luminous Reaver spellment, Keeper of the Flame spellments, Brimstone Revenant, and of course you still got the Jade Hood and stuff like that. It looks like the max is at level 110. I'm not sure if that's correct, but yeah, you know, a bunch of um, stuff here. So yeah, you can, you can figure that out. I think I think I have this pet, the Emberstone Tiger. I think I actually have this pet, but yep, it has turned into a spellment pack, so... I mean, hopefully you got the spells, but I guess now it's time to upgrade the spells now. And then moving right along from that, I think that's pretty much it. Concerning the Shenlong pet bundle, there is actually something on the Wizard101 website that actually has $80, and that will give you $60,000 delicious, delicious, scrumptious, scrumptious um, crowns. I can show you right now if it will show up right here. Is it going to show up? I don't think it will show up. 
Oh, there we go. Here it is. So, anyway, this, um, if we go on the screen again, we did the math yesterday because we wanted to see just how much money or is worth for the whole crowns. And remember, it's for 46,000 crowns. And so right here, it would actually help you better if you got the $80 version, which would give you 60,000 crowns. So if you did get the Shenlong pet bundle, you would have some crowns left over. Not really much, but you would have some spare crowns um, left over. But regardless of whatever deal you do, it's $80 regardless worth of crowns, right? It's a very expensive bundle. So do whatever you want. I mean, I personally wouldn't recommend it, but hey... <laughs> Hey, that's just me, man. Hey, you do whatever you want, man. You do whatever you want. But, yep, that's all that is in the crown shop. Mega snack pack, you know, that's there. Um, what else? The uh, membership benefit is free training point buyback. I believe that, it, yeah, it is that. For the 50 jillionth time... Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of free training point buyback. I mean, I don't know how many times people need to reset their um, training points. But it's like, I don't know, I just feel like they're spamming that a little bit too much alongside other ones because mainly the membership benefits that I see mostly concern the free training point buyback and maybe the second chance reroll and then maybe double pet XP, but I haven't really seen much love towards free energy fishing or double gardening, which a lot of people have been asking for and just overall any of the other membership benefits and stuff like that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's more of a reason why I don't really have a membership in this game. Just because, well, if it's just the same two membership benefits, then there's not really a point in buying anything, honestly. But, um, yeah, that's that. What else? I mean, that's pretty much it. I think that's actually it for the, for the news. I didn't really see anything else on the login screen. Yeah, I, don't, I can't remember anything off the top of my head. That's pretty much it. But, yeah, free training point buyback. Um, <laughs> I got <laughs> I got Dog Tracy in front of me right now. But, yeah, free training point buyback, you know, crown shop stuff, you know, yada, yada, yada. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. As a reminder, though, you want to make sure that you're finishing up your Spring Scroll of Fortune because this is wrapping up soon, so definitely make sure that you do that. And again, we're still kind of like unknown about the whole Beast Moon thing. We don't know if that's going to happen like next week or something like that or what, or you know, there's not really much confirmation about that. So again, we're just going to have to wait and just see what happens. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with Beast moon <laughs> all right i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna go play some fortnite i'm gonna go relax and yeah i will see you guys later thank you for watching the video and if you guys want to send me a true friend finder code feel free to leave it in the comments below and then all you would do is just go into the castle tours and you would just go into your friend i'll actually show you right now real quick but if you are on someone's friends list and they have their castle available in the castle tours you can basically visit that castle tour you don't have to really search up anything but you would go over here, the Castle Tours website, right in the uh, website. It's in the commons, the HQ. But anyway, all you would want to do is visit a castle, and then you just go to your friends. And look, these are all of my friends. Ooh, Kimberly is in 79th place for the Battle Mage Keep. Mackenzie is at 15th place. So yeah, everybody has their things and stuff like that. It's nice. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Nothing else. I will see you guys later, and until then, peace out, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching.